and English player of Ghanaian descent, Kobe Mainu was on target for Manchester United in their game against Liverpool and the Ghanaian player scored a goal which could have been the winner but the Red Devils unfortunately couldn't hold on to that particular lead that Mainu gave them and we're going to check out how Kobe Mainu managed to score this masterpiece in the game well we also have updates on Andre Onana who also did something shockingly in that game well the Cameroonian goalkeeper was found using Vaseline during the match against Liverpool and we'll talk about it right here on the channel also 17 years after Ghana played Brazil at the 2006 World Cup Asamoah has come out to react to that particular game because people are saying that that game Ghana was cooked but Asamoah has a different opinion then was who capped it off with Inaki Williams reaction during the penalty shootout in the final of the Copa del Rey between Mallorca versus Athletic Bilbao so I have more updates coming right here on the channel all you have to do is subscribe like share and don't forget to leave a comment so let's get right into it and english player of Ghanaian descent Kobe Mainu was on target for Manchester United in their game against Liverpool which was played today in the English Premier League so at the Old Trafford that was where the game was played and it was Liverpool that scored the first goal in the match through their player that is Luis Diaz who gave them the lead in the match against Manchester United but however in the second half that was when Portuguese international that is Bruno Fernandes got the equalizer for Manchester United in the 50th minute well in the 67th minute Kobe Mainu scored a beautiful goal to give Manchester United the lead and turn around events in the game so how did Kobe Mainu manage to score this beautiful goal so Manchester United were on the counter and they found themselves in the box and it was Kobe Mainu who was lurking around that place and a pass was sent to him and quickly Kobe Mainu was facing the goal area but made a U-turn uh, and uh, like a 360 turn and just shot the ball into the top corner to score the goal which could have given Manchester United the three maximum points over the you never work alone boys but unfortunately United as a United fan I would say we were robbed of the opportunity to get three points against Liverpool as they were awarded such a dubious penalty when one of their players was brought down in the box by a Manchester United player that is one Bissaka it was such a flimsy penalty the player just dived on the ground and the referee just pointed to the spot and up to now I still can't think about it well Mohamed Salah stepped up and scored the goal which ended Manchester United's hopes of getting a three points over Liverpool in that game so away from that let's talk about Andre Onana yes Onana Onana not the shock so Onana during the game against Liverpool made some great saves 12 saves for Manchester United in the first half but something interesting happened whilst the game was ongoing Andre Onana picked up a pomade Vaseline he picked up a Vaseline and smeared it on his gloves upon all the things that Andre Onana could have used to uh, give him more grip on the ball he used Vaseline and got a number of fans wondering why Andre Onana was using Vaseline me myself I was even sure because if you want better grips of the ball you don't use Vaseline because it's going to make your hand rather slippery and Andre Onana was using Vaseline and this has gotten a number of fans talking I want you to share your thoughts in the comment section what you make of Andre Onana using the Vaseline because this goalkeeper not a show cool. and come to think of it all the penalties we considered Andre Onana couldn't have saved even one if this was the gear the gear would have at least saved one penalty now away from the English Premier League and its issues let's come back to the motherland where former Ghana international and Ghana's all-time top scorer Asamoah has reacted to the Black Stars game that they played against Brazil at the 2006 FIFA World Cup well 17 years ago Ghana faced Brazil in the World Cup knockout phase after we made it out of the group stages well the game ended in a disappointing 3-0 defeat for the Black Stars as they took on the Brazilian side well 17 years later 
sports journalist Oriko Ampofo went to dig up that particular game and describe the game as a match where the Black Stars was cooked and it has generated conversation which got a Samajan to even react to that particular video that was posted by Oriko Ampofo. So let me start by reading what Oriko Ampofo captioned his video when he made that post on social media. So this was what Oriko Ampofo said. He said, we were cooked beyond boiling points in this game. Then he went on to say, we put up to face this Brazil super team with the highest defensive line I have ever seen for the Black Stars. And this did not go down well for Baby Jetta Samwajan, who quickly came to X to react to what Oriko Ampofo had posted that Ghana was cooked in the match. Well, this is what Asamwajan said in response to Oriku's and Pofo's post on Ghana being cooked against Brazil. He said, experience was the difference in that game, but I disagree if you say we were cooked, bro. Go back and watch the full game, bro. And that is what Asamwajan said reacting to Oriku's and Pofo's uh, caption that Ghana was cooked in the game against Brazil. Well, Oriku and Pofo later came back to say that I agree on the experience part. I watched the game again a couple of years ago and realized that the early goal destabilized us. Though we grew into the game, our decision making wasn't great in that game. That is what Oriku Ampofo had to say about Asamoajan's reaction. So Asamoajan reacting to Ghana's game against Brazil. What do you also make of that particular game? What do you remember fondly of Ghana's game against Brazil? Away from that, let's round it up with the game involving Mallorca versus Athletic Bilbao in the final of the Copa del Rey and it was Athletic Bilbao who won the title with Inaki Williams and his brother Nico Williams. Well, after the game, well, we've now had a video of how um, Inaki Williams was reacting when the penalty shootout was going on because the game ended 1-1 in full time and proceeded to penalty shootouts where Athletic Bilbao won the penalties by 4-2 but the cameras were on Inaki Williams who was eager to win the trophy and I want us to check out that video please subscribe, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment the video plays right after this <laughs> Atención, fuerte, súbita para el Mallorca. Ahí va el golpeo. Sigue vivo el conjunto de Javier Aguirre. Ahí va Berenguer. Ataca la pelota. 